Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Our today's topic is the order of a matrix. In, in matrices, the order of a matrix is very important as the operations on matrices, the matrices depends solely on the order of a matrix. It depends whether its order is um, order uh, of the two matrices is same or not, then the calculation is possible to make the calculations. So, order of a matrix refers to the number of rows and columns that specify the basically order of a matrix. But how? Let's see. We have, if you are given with the matrix as we will talk about a general form, we have a general matrix here. Matrix is represented by A and these are the elements of the matrix. Now, in order to find the order of a matrix, conventionally we have to write rows multiplied by columns. Okay. So, whenever you write the order of matrix, rows will always come first conventionally. Okay. So, if we want to find the order of this matrix that is given, what we have to do? First, we have to find the number of rows. Okay. So, we have 1, 2 and 3. We have 3 rows. Okay. So, we will write 3 here. And how many columns are there? We have 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So, this is C1, C2 and C3. And 3 columns are there. So, the order of a matrix is 3 into 3 or you can also write it as 3 by 3. This is the order of a matrix. So, whenever you want to find the order of a matrix, you have to multiply the rows by column by keeping in mind that the rows will be written first and then the column. Then the number, number of rows first, then the number of columns. So, this is the formula of order of a matrix. Okay. But let's say have one more example where you will came across different orders of matrices. So, that let's find uh, first find it by yourself then you can easily understand its concept. If you are given with I'll write multiple matrices as now we have to find the order of these matrices one by one. We'll start from here. Its order will be the number of rows multiplied with column. How many rows are there? We have two rows. We'll write two by a number of column one and two. Two by two. So this is a this is the order of the given matrix. Or if we multiply the rows and columns, we will get the number of elements as we have already seen. Now here comes the next example in which we have the order is equals to number of rows are 1, 2 and 3. So write 3 by and the column number of columns are 1 and 2. So 3 by 2 is the order of the matrix B. Okay. Then comes the last matrix. Order is equals to number of rows are 1. So we will write 1 by and the number of columns are 2. So this this two columns so 1 by 2 is the order of the matrix C. So this is how you can find the order of, of multiple matrices of different rows and columns it depend, and by keeping the number of rows first and the number of columns in the second position. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.